Panu announced Monday it has entered into a prepaid advance agreement with the investment firm YA2PN. It's also known as Yorkville. And the stock went down. Somebody bigger should acquire somebody like Canoe. Canoe has unique EV technology that some of the big three manufacturers could use. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. And today I'm back in the studio with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, Bill? Oh, I'm doing excellent. Thank you. Anyways, Canoe announced Monday it has entered into a prepaid advance agreement with the investment firm YA2PN. It's also known as Yorkville. And the stock went down, but it had a 42% increase from its recent lows in late June. They're allowed to request advances up to $100 million over the next 24 months. Now, what's really happening here, this EV maker is a small EV maker that has got some good ideas. They're making some pickup trucks. They're making some vans. They're targeting commercial, right? So they're not really targeting individuals so much. But they've got a unique product. They seem like a good company. And they're somebody I feel that needs to be in the consolidation space, meaning that somebody bigger like GM, like Mary Barra out there, if you're listening, should acquire somebody like Canoe. Canoe has unique EV technology that some of the big three manufacturers could use. And, you know, somebody like Stellantis, Ford, GM would be perfect to acquire Canoe. And they, they're they making a decent product. It's been well-received, what they've put out there. Aren't they working on a current deal with the United States Postal Service? Yeah, they've got, they've already, they've already delivered. Yeah, they delivered a handful to uh, the Postal Service. Yeah, it looks like, it, it's kind of like a, an American, an American version of the VW micro bus. It does kind of look like that. Yeah, a little bit more future. This really, it does look like something, though, that you'd look as a moon rover, too. It looks like something that NASA would put out. And I think that's why NASA bought some. I mean, it's kind of got that, hey, this would work on the moon look. Yeah, they want to use it. They use the Canaveral to transport you know, astronauts between the prep area, you know, and the and launch area. So. so what this $100 million cash advance really means is... Canoe is going to sell some stock at a favorable term to Yorkville. So they're able to take it in $15 million initially, and they're going to take it in tranches. Now, the stock is currently a little bit over $2, and the deal is they that Yorkville will essentially take warrants for the stock at a price that is the moving average of the previous five days. Okay. And they get it at a 5% discount, and that's basically what that means. So Yorkville has announced that they're essentially, hey, they like what Canoe's doing. We feel that $100 million is going to get to them to the point of where they're solid in the market. And, and solid in the market can mean a couple things. One, that they're profitable. But if you look at stocks in general, if you look at the NASDAQ and you look at the S&P 500 and all those, half of all companies on the stock exchange don't show a profit. Okay. So, you know, it, it's not necessarily people have, there's value in these companies, whether they turn a profit or not. Now, sometimes a lot of that is they have high employee costs. There's other things they're doing. You know, the, the idea is to increase shareholder value. So the job of a public company is to increase shareholder value. So a lot of people think of it like if you own your own business and let's say you have a coffee shop, you have to make money to survive and eat and sur for, pay your own family and pay for your bills of the business. But when you are a big company, you have you have this obligation to increase shareholder value regardless of how that may affect your bottom line. Canoe eventually will either be profitable from what they're doing or they'll have so much intrinsic value that buoys up and makes the stock more valuable that somebody else will come in and acquire it. To me, they're a consolidation target. I don't see Canoe in five years being a standalone company that it is today. Okay, somebody is going to step in and acquire Canoe. We just don't know who it's going to be. Yeah, I think it ought to be Apple. Yeah, well, there's a good there's a good choice too. We're we're constantly like trying, you know, we we wanted Apple to acquire Aptera. You know, we we keep trying to throw suggestions for Tim Cook. Yeah, exactly. Well, we you know we we had kind of blindsided us when uh, Rivian Volkswagen stepped in for Rivian, right? 
Right. We were really shocked at that one. And if Apple would step in and acquire Canoe, that would even be better for me because I do own a handful of shares of Canoe just in uh, being transparent here. But I was I asked you this question because I'm not a financial guy. I'm not a stock whiz. I don't understand a lot how these things work, trends and and you know and cash advances and, and and all that that type of thing. So I wanted you to sort of you know explain how, how that works. Well, simply in this, they're able to acquire the cash in tranches of up to fifteen million dollars. So until they hit the hundred million cap. Now, what the deal is, the most Yorkville will ever pay for the stock is two dollars and seventy cents. So if the stock, so if the stock goes to ten bucks in in a year, Yorkville will still be able to get the stock for two dollars and seventy cents. Because they're because they're taking they're taking the risk that that money they're giving them will improve the economics and, and performance and profitability of the company. Then. Yes. Now, the negative to this is if you're a canoe shareholder and the price is between 5 and $10, and then Yorkville takes their uh, warrants and they ca- they take the stock at $2.70, well, it dilutes the value of your shares. Okay. However, if somebody then comes in and acquires the company you know, say $8 a share or something like that, then every, everybody you made out, Yorkville ends up tripling their money, you know, for having put in their $100 million. And that that's how, how that game works. So keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, $100 million in Canoe seems like a drop in the bucket compared to the $5 billion Volkswagen's putting into Rivian. No kidding. Yeah, one of the stories I posted today was this company that invests a, uh, an LLC that invested $42,000 in who was it? Was it Canoe? Was one of one of the you know one of the companies Lucid or somebody or another. $42,000 I thought. Why are you even reporting on that? You know that could be that could be one investor pulling out his 401k. Let's buy, that's not even buy that's maybe buying one car. Yeah, that's why you know so yeah, I was a little confused by that. So I titled I titled that particular story uh, what was it? Uh, dipping the toe in the water or something like that. It's just yeah. forty-two thousand. I know. I know. With Exceder, if somebody wants to um, invest in Exceder, you can buy one of their electric trucks for twenty-five thousand dollars, and they'll give you twenty-five thousand dollars in warrants. There you go. Yeah. I mean, um, th- th- that that's kind of their solution. Besides, besides the truck. Yeah. Besides the truck. You, you get the truck and the and the warrants. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, and you get the warrants. Yeah, and so I mean, it's kind of a unique um, play, but uh, you know, there's an example of essentially a Chinese truck, but they're bringing all the parts here and then they're assembling them in the United States so that they can avoid some of the the tariffs. But it's essentially all Chinese parts. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.